My name is Brian, and this is my story. So after and, uh, a bunch of failed relationships and and a divorce, I uh, was visiting the church with my parents, and I heard a pastor talk about uh, my need for a relationship with the Lord, and um, and I didn't really understand what that meant, but I just thought that if that was the case, a God that knew everything about me, my every thoughts, and on um, every sin I've ever created, then um, I want a relationship with Him. And so um, I just surrendered to Him and, uh, and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And then after that, um, I didn't really know what it was like to be in a, a relationship with a Christian woman. And so I just started praying, and then eventually I uh, wanted to be more intentional with my prayers, and so I started writing down a prayer list of 21 things. In the beginning, it was all scriptural and trying to pull off a of Proverbs 31 and different things, and I thought, well, you know, I've prayed all these things, and uh, maybe I'll even throw in if she's a Georgia Bulldog fan, that'd be great. And um, and if she's an Atlanta Braves fan, that would be even better. And so, uh, so that was kind of my 20 and 21. And then, but I really didn't know where to even find a, a Christian woman at. And so, so I ended up uh, doing a one month trial on Christian Mingle. And uh, about the time that I got ready to cut it off, uh, this this woman caught my attention and we had a lot in common and so I reached out to her and in, in one of our first conversations to where we actually spoke to each other I just told her that I didn't want the same kind of relationships that I'd been in in the past and uh, that I really wanted a biblical relationship if it was okay with her that I'd really like to uh, study uh, a Bible study with her because our church had just started doing uh, experiencing God with uh, Henry Blackaby and so and she agreed and so it was really cool because uh, she had a little boy at the time and um, she would wait until he went to bed and then she'd call me and we would do the uh, experiencing God study and then we would just talk about it and then we would just talk and get to know each other uh, sometimes until like one or two o'clock in the morning and we just started learning more and more about each other. And, and the more and more I learned about her, um, as I was still praying through that, uh, the list of 21 things, I just started checking them off. And she was filling all the, um, the boxes. And I remember it being weeks um, after we started talking and doing the study together before we actually met in person. And I just remember how beautiful she was the first time I saw her. And, and as I got to know Joanna, it was cool to see how God worked it out to where um, she was the godly woman that I was looking for and, and that I'd been praying over uh, different scriptures and different things. And, and then uh, it was so awesome to see how God worked it out to where she was even an Atlanta Braves fan and a Georgia Bulldog fan, uh, go dogs. But uh, so it, it was just awesome to see how God worked all that out. And uh, it really gave me um, more in her than I'd ever anticipated and that I could have ever uh, done on my own. And so I just thank God for that. And, um, and just thank God for my family. He gave me a, um, two great kids that I already had from a previous marriage and then um, Another one um, in my stepson, Will, that um, I never anticipated um, being able to be a father to him the way God's allowed it to happen. And, um, and then we had a little extra bonus in Kenzie Grace when I remember just thinking um, how awesome it was that I had a chance um, to kind of raise a kid and be there every day 
if you feel like that um, that you're all alone and that there's no hope, uh, I would just encourage you to just continue to pray and um, and be intentional in your prayers and and even make a list if you feel led to do so, and just pray over that list and just know that um, that your heavenly Father loves you more than you can even imagine, and all that you have to do is just trust Him, and He will bless you in ways that you can um, only imagine because He's just such an awesome Father.